the second part of my thesis uh, study is comparison of anxiety scores in patients with uh, central serous retinopathy versus controls. Uh, central serous retinopathy is of two types, acute and chronic, and uh, the acute type variant uh, has more uh, depression scores. Many risk factors are involved, but uh, stress and type A personality is most common. Uh, stress can also be a consequence of sudden visual loss, which uh, leads to uh, considerable psychological distress. Uh, the uh, older studies state that uh, personality characteristics like overachievement, competitiveness, perfectionism, and impatience are related to stress and TSER, while whereas newer studies state that emotional instability and insecurity are uh, related to CSER and stress. The aim was to control, uh, compare anxiety scores between patients with <coughs> CSER versus normal controls. As stated earlier, the objectives were to uh, compare co choroidal thickness and anxiety scores and to study uh, OCT features and basic demographics. Uh, we took 100 case CSER cases, 100 controls, which were age match and gender matched. Uh, after uh, taking cons uh, consent history, uh, basic demographics, uh, anxiety scoring was done in these patients. Uh, the uh, scale used was Hamilton anxiety rating scale which was a validated uh, questionnaire and it was uh, administered by a trained uh, study coordinator. Uh, so this Hamilton anxiety uh, rating scale contains 14 symptoms and uh, it is divided into four categories, namely mild, moderate, severe, and extremely severe. In our study, uh, around 25% of patients came under the mild category. 47% uh, uh, came under the moderate category uh, and 21% came under the uh, severe category and only 7% had very severe anxiety. Uh, this is an image showing the 14 symptoms uh, taken in the ha Hamilton anxiety rating scale and uh, uh, four categories. Uh, in the uh, controls, uh, anxiety was not present in 99% of patients, only 1% uh, had moderate anxiety. So digging uh, further into this, we also compared uh, every symptom uh, pertaining to the uh, pertaining to each category. Uh, for example, this red line belongs to uh, anxious mood. It is present in around 9% of mild uh, anxiety uh, patients, in 20% of moderate anxiety, in 46% of severe anxiety, and 23% uh, of very severe anxiety. Similarly, all other uh, symptoms are also color coded. Uh, these, this graph contains the remaining eight symptoms. Uh, as you can see, uh, cardiovascular uh, uh, GI and uh, respiratory symptoms were uh, did not have much uh, impact as they were absent in most of the patients. Uh, CSER is uh, uh, because of sym sympathoadrenergic uh, dysregulation leading to release of uh, norepinephrine and beta endorphins which alters the choroidal blood flow and permeability. Uh, Conrad et al. also stated that low emotional intelligence and coping mechanisms are related to uh, CSER since these patients uh, have poor adapt adaptive responses and uh, all these things are more uh, commonly seen in acute cases. These patients tend to be more insecure with higher levels of frustration and anticipatory anxiety. The hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, which is regulated by corticotrophin releasing hormone, is responsible for rapid and uh, strong responses to stress, uh, also causing the release of cortisol. The anxiety levels uh, do not differ whether it is the first episode of CSER or uh, a recurrent episode. In our study, no correlation was seen between anxiety scores, demographics, loss of visual acuity, and choroidal thickness. To conclude, Mm, psychological risk factors, various psychological risk factors contribute while stress is considered as most common. Uh, the stress hormones cause dysfunction in choroid and RP leading to subretinal fluid accumulation. Uh, CSER is a multifactorial disease which calls for a multidisciplinary approach and proper uh, psychiatric counseling. Thank you.